Alrighty, seat belts first, lap bar second. <laughs> All right, let's get this construction update off to uh, a start. So I went today um, and I, was, I thought I would see something interesting and I did. I saw lots of things interesting. This is a really big update. Um, small update like in terms of length, but real lot packed into it. And I'm going back to the park tonight to meet some of, you know, followers and um, to grab more updated shots. Um, so when I got there, obviously right away I saw, okay, so some Canadiana theming is going in near Splashworks. That's really cool. We saw them working on the building yesterday. Now we're getting the same Canadian Anna theming here, um, which is super exciting. This whole area is going to look really cool and I'm excited to see it. And we noticed yesterday that they were clearing the land. Obviously they're getting ready to start construction on that side of the land, um, which is super exciting as well. Or they're just cleaning up because it's going to be um, visible. Um, they're moving really fast with construction. I mean, like, I've never seen them do landscaping first on a coaster. Like, I mean, even Leviathan and all that, it was, and you know, you look at coasters like Thunderbird and other B&Ms, it's brake run, station, transfer track, lift hill. Um, so this is strange. Um, as you can see, a lot of electrical work still going on. Um, they're redoing the brickwork, by the way. So what I thought they would do is wait until 2019, like the end of the 2018 season to redo all the brickwork here, but they're really doing all the brickwork. I guess they really care about the aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I didn't see anything visible in this area that they were working on currently, but yes, lots of equipment as usual and uh, Hartwell electricians are on site and doing whatever they need to do for 2019. Um, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you'll see, there's a special part in the park that has a lot more construction going on now that I was not expecting. So stay tuned for that. That's at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, not much going on in this area. Um, as you can see here, we have the start of the lift hill. So a massive hole has been dug for what I assume because it aligns with the footers turning out of the station that this is the start of the lift hill. So it's further back than I even imagined. So this brings our lift hill potential length, I use the word potential length, to about 113 meters long. Using Valraven's um, ascent, 37 meters, that is crazy. So let's assume 110 meters um, long lift hill with a 37 degree angled as uh, ascent. Um, that brings this dive coaster, or whatever it's going to be, to like 270 like two feet like tall with like a 30 foot tunnel this really is starting to kind of like um align with my theory that we could have a giga dive coaster on our hand um i really hope this is the case because this is super exciting so again using mathematics with the current predictions of the lift hill with um footer placement we are assuming this lift hill is going to be about 272 feet tall um, a 37 degree angle lift hill, assuming it's similar to Val Raven. And um, it has like a 30 foot deep tunnel. It could be more, we don't know. Um, so that brings this, this is really starting to align with this Giga Dive Coaster. I, I'm like, real, fingers crossed, I don't wanna jinx it. I'm really hoping I am um, on the money with my prediction. Um, because I really don't want to let you guys down, but um, I mean the evidence is getting stronger and stronger each day And this is exciting. Can you imagine a 272 foot dive coaster? I mean that would be insane um, So as you can see they're laying down the brickwork. But look right there. Is that a teaser waiting um, to be shown on Saturday? This new building this new thing just appeared on the splash path between Timberwolf and um, Splashworks and it looks like they're typical buildings that they put posters on I'm wondering, and I'm really excited now for Saturday to be able to walk on this path and see what that is. I'm starting to think that there might be teasers behind there. Uh, so you have your tarp down, um, and um, it, it's their typical like kind of like special events type of building, like where they put their posters for special events. So I'm like, I'm wondering, is that a teaser hiding behind there? So you know, I'll be there first thing Saturday morning running, and I don't run for anyone that knows what I look like. <laughs> I'm incapable of running, but I will be running there to check out what that is um, for you guys. And I will definitely be home posting it immediately. Um, so here's just a, an overview. So the first footer turn out of the station, then it turns behind this area and then leads to that's where the start of the lift hill is. It's very deep and it's very large. Almost looks like a, a crater. 
Um, so, and then the, the top of the lift hill support is, or um, footer is just a little farther north. So here we have the Canadian theming that I spotted in Splashworks. It's been put out as you saw yesterday. Um, and I just viewed this Canyon Trader building because the uh, markings on the pathway from Timberwolf to Splashworks, I honestly think we're gonna see similar buildings to this placed in there. And you're gonna get a really well themed kind of pathway, kind of similar to like what you see at Cedar Point, um, which would be really exciting to finally have like more theming in the area. That's my honest guess for all these markings in the Timberwolf Forest. I honestly think we're gonna see buildings. Now to the exciting step. What is going on? So there is construction vehicles all over here from Dragonfire to here. And there's markers all over the like grass hills and grass and all that. This is so strange. I was not expecting this. Is this a new front gate potentially? Or is this a new catering facility being built? What is going on? This is like super interesting. If you look further back, there's more vehicles all the way back by Dragonfire. There's some right there. This is super strange. I'm really curious to see what this is all about. Um, I was not expecting this. I got to the park, I parked, and then all I, all I hear is like heavy machinery. And I'm like, what? I'm like, maybe it's just like a garbage truck or something picking up garbage. And then I looked over here and I was like, whoa, um, was not expecting that. So this is like the, I just showed in like the measurements tool, the current area that has vehicles in it and construction flags. Um, so it's a pretty large area, um, it could be catering, could be maybe ease of access. Like we know front gate currently can't handle its current demands. It usually gets really busy. So I have no idea what it is. What do you guys think it is? Comment down below. What do you think is going on at front gate? Catering facility or an expanded front gate? What do you guys think? Um, comment down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like as usual. Subscribe if you haven't. And share this video so other people um, are aware of what's going on at Wonderland. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.